So my throat is still hurting a little bit, um, and I'm having trouble breathing. I couldn't sleep last night. I was tossing and turning and woke up at 4 a.m., and um, I just couldn't sleep because I couldn't get enough breath. And I think um, there's a healing happening in my th in my lymph node here. I don't know if it's my thyroid or what, but my coach told me to um, stop taking kelp and to see if that helps. But, you know, it, I don't think it's a coincidence I'm having this throat thing with what's going on in my psyche. Um, I woke up, so I just crashed for a couple hours and it's like the middle of the day and um, I had this really vivid dream and uh, I was standing with my mom and then all of a sudden my dad came up and started talking to us and he was like making jokes and laughing and I just looked at I just realized you're de I was like you're dead and I don't want you here in my dream and I said I yelled at him get out of my dream and I pushed him off this cliff and that's it's a pretty significant dream for me so my dad died a few years ago from liver cancer um, he had never been able to grieve you know he had never been able to process his grief and all his shit from his childhood and then when he lost his son um, the f his first son at three years old you know all that just built up and he just like shut down and um, had this like <coughs> um, well you know he was a good guy and he just he was workaholic and he did the best he could but he just didn't know how to show up for us and the feeling I got you know when it, when he was around like he would have these anger outbursts and um, I always felt like I was in trouble and um, the other day when I was, I slept all day, I slept for like 30 hours. And um, at the end of the day, I purged uh, this feeling of like, I'm always doing something wrong. And that's how I felt as a kid, like, and there was just like, I'm, I'm, I did something wrong, I'm doing something wrong, and I'm being punished for this. And that's why the, the sickness is continuing. But I mean, you know, I don't really believe that, but that's the feeling that comes up because it's so intense and so every day, so much fatigue every day. But um but yeah, like that that feeling was there in childhood. And I looked up, you know, dream interpretation online and um they said to like notice what thoughts you were having <coughs> before the dream. And I was feeling, I have been feeling like my dad caused this incredible powerlessness in me. Just feeling like, um, well, you know, we didn't have a good relationship. I never felt like I could talk to him. And um, he was like authoritarian and had this kind of militaristic fear-based parenting method. And, um, you know, for as long as I can remember up until he died really there there was just this thing in me it was like the vortex of my life how am I going to heal this relationship with my dad because I didn't want to you know every single Christmas to go home and feel these like ugh, like we just had so much unresolved stuff <coughs> and I thought it was my responsibility to heal our relationship but I was like absolutely terrified and I was frozen to, I was just in this like just this like how am I going to confront him where am I going to start how am I going to open this can of worms with him and where is it going to take us and a lot of my depression was um, because of that and I did actually talk to my mom about it and of course you know in her conditioned belief she's like oh don't say anything to him it's going to hurt his feelings <laughs> So I took her stupid advice and didn't say anything to her, but, um, so I worked through it. You know, I did a lot of Kundalini yoga and I worked through my anger with him and just like, I did get to this place of like peace, 
to where when when he was dying like he went out pretty quickly from the time um uh from the time he started like going downhill uh, to when he died was only a few weeks and I was there for the beginning of the intense part when he started to just like he was sleeping like a lot and just like couldn't really stay awake and like his mental capacity went downhill and he turned into like like a little boy again um, but um, I wrote him this note that told you know I basically said thank you for everything you've done for us like you know, he worked hard so that we could have a good life. And I appreciated that. And I just said, you know, we both didn't live up to what we expected in each other. And, you know, I'm okay with that. And I hope you are too. And he read it when he was coherent enough to like get it. And whatever he thought of it, I don't know. But the one conversation... <laughs> we did have shortly before he died was you know he asked me again like so what are you gonna do with your life you know and just still had this feeling of like I'm disappointed in you and you had so much potential and so fucking such bullshit bullshit man what kind of parenting is that <laughs> it's like such a collective bullshit mindset that your kid has to have a good job and be married by the time they're 30 it's just it's not their fault I mean it's like so ingrained in us that it's just so common and it's complete bullshit basically you know and I'm I'm here to like push the paradigm I'm here a part of a new revolution of like being free from that old paradigm of um the boring ass like go to public school and get brainwashed and then jump into a system that keeps you stuck in as a slave and then when you're retired you're like too sick to even enjoy it not for me um so this dream um <laughs> i finally got to like express this like you know boundaries you know I had this dream a few nights ago about this demon on my back causing acne and uh, I watched a video with uh, Teal Swan who said that skin conditions are boundary issues and for sure I had boundary issues with both my mom and my dad so pushing him off the cliff and being like get the fuck out of my dream was me you know expressing all that pent-up like rage and like desire to speak my truth with him and I never really got to do it so I just like told him get out of my dream <clears throat> pushed him off the cliff and I didn't feel bad about it <laughs> but of course there's this thing in my psyche that's like um you know am I avoiding something like was he there in my dream to like tell me something else but maybe that's that's for another time So um, I got this travel voucher when I went to, I was gifted a, a ticket to Hawaii back in March from my teacher, David G. And um, I went to a retreat there with him. And on my way there, um, they had overbooked, or they didn't overbook the flight. Um, we flew out of San Francisco and there were like crazy winds, crazy headwinds and the pilot said he wouldn't fly the plane unless 30 people got off the plane and that's a lot of people for going to Hawaii for their vacations so they offered um, a $500 voucher and then they offered a thousand dollar voucher and I took that one and I just um, I still have it and I thought I was gonna be able to go to India with everybody this year with using that voucher but turns out um, you know with my health and the, with my financial situation, you know, there's really no way I can go to India this year. So um, I put the word out to my Sangha to like see if I could sell that voucher and use some money. And anyway, so I, one of the um, wealthier women in the Sangha, like, is um, she's buying it from me. So that's taking um, a little pressure off my shoulders and my psyche to have to work for the next few months and then also I'm going to use um, I'm going to do a past life regression session or a hypnotherapy session with one of my friends in 
one of my friends in Grass Valley who does that um, because I really feel like there's some sort of um, either like a, a childhood spirit attachment or a past life that's like keeping me stuck from healing there's something there and um i really like to explore it more and to see if um you know just doing the hypnotherapy like she does um yeah she does all that like shamanic um hypnotherapy work and i've done uh, a couple sessions with her and they were really powerful so i'm gonna book that and then i'm also gonna book some energy body work and see if i can unleash some more of these emotions these stuck emotions in me and um just like treat myself to that yeah uh so yeah this um breathing issues and the thigh the swollen lymph nodes um i looked up online and this like it's a common symptom to come together when you have thyroid issues so i think i have hypothyroid um but my coach said that it's most likely a, a retracing of an infection or a healing reaction and I'm really hoping that that's the case and not that I have like you know thyroid cancer or Graves disease whatever um, but I am going to see a medical Western doctor um, in July and gonna get tested and stuff and I'm actually you know my intention is to like of course I want to get some answers if there are any and get um, treatment but my intention is to like start the process to get on disability if I need to if this continues um you know why not like I really can't work so I'm gonna start the process now apparently you have to have records showing um that you've you know been through treatments and done western medicine stuff and like tried things that haven't worked and then you can start the process of like applying for disability but it takes takes a while and it takes you gotta um it's good to work with an attorney i've looked into it and um <coughs> that you know that could be my reality um i'm hoping that i'm gonna get better and i'm gonna be able to like you know continue my youtube channel and build something for myself and you know that would be great but um just in case and so anyways i'm looking forward to the doctor's appointments to see what they come up with <clears throat> okay i think that's all and um satnam i'm gonna go lay by the lake and just chill out and breathe the fresh air there because this apartment is stuffy and i'm having trouble breathing and um yeah i hope you all are surviving this intense time okay lots of love bye